What's poppin' YouTube? It's your boy Josh, and we're back here at the Kicks and Bricks channel, ready to give you another review on another pair of sneakers that's out there right now that everybody's trying to get their hands on right now. I was able to cop these through a finish line early access. You know, I'm a little bit behind on my reviews. Took me a while to get this one out here, but hey, you know what? It's better late than never. So, like I said, these pair of sneakers came out a few weeks ago and they was highly sought out after I was able to cop on the early access with finish line, which by the way, lately it's been great. Yeah, I've copped like at least the last three or four releases from a finish line early access and I've been like, I don't have to sit there and hunt it down on release day and try to get them or whatnot. Unless I really want another pair, rock one, stock one, you know what I'm saying? So without delaying it any more further, let's go ahead and see the pair that I picked up. It's in a flight box, excuse the uh, twirling. Doing a little twirl here. I mean, it's, yeah, a, a, a little extra twirl. Let's do a little extra twirl. So, hey, it's in a flight box. You know what I mean? The label on the front of the box reads Air Jordan 4 Retro, color black, light steel gray, and white. It's a size 9.5, which means it's my personal pair. And in this box, it is the Air Jordan 4 Black Canvas. I will say right away, it's a dope sneaker. Just looking at it right away, dope sneaker. Let me give y'all a close look, real quick close look at the uh, sneaker. You know what I mean? Look how beautiful that sneaker is, y'all. And of course, Jordan 4 is one of my favorite silhouettes. Favorite silhouettes goes as follows. 13s, 4s, 11s. So, those are the sneakers that I have most pairs of here in the collection. First impressions of this beautiful, beautiful Air Jordan 4 sneaker. Um, the front toe, wrap around the front toes, got some suede. Um, you know, they're about this close from me calling it that towel suede that they want to sometimes put out on sneakers and make it look good. I will say that I think the suede is decent, decent quality suede, but it could have definitely been better. Thankfully, thankfully, it isn't some bad suede, it could have definitely made this sneaker or took away from the beauty of the sneaker. This canvas stuff? <laughs> no I mean this uh it's some good quality on it. It's pretty good quality. I like it. I like this Jordan 4. I love it. Got the uh of course it's not non it's a non OG so it's got the jump man on the back of the heel tab. Uh man I'll tell y'all what now I know why everybody wants them. This is a good looking sneaker. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get another pair of these. Maybe I'll catch them on a restock or something. Because these are dope. Dope. Alright y'all, so here's the Jordan 4. And you know what? Shout out to the Cuzzo, Heavy Lyrics. He gave him a good little nickname for these things. If you into Jordan 4s and the rare Jordan 4s, you know that Eminem had a pair of Carhartt 4s, black Carhartt 4s, that were pretty identical to these. So, Cuzzo names them the, the really not really Eminem 4s. So, yeah, that's a, a good title for them. But they're a good looking pair of really not really 4s. You know, because there's a lot of like exclusive sneakers out there, PEs and stuff, that Jordan brand eventually does release as a general release pair, and they tear it up. It just make it look, ugh. For instance, these Jordan 12 Michigans, the PEs, 
are definitely a lot better than this general release pair. But these have been worn a couple times already, you know what I mean? And they're still in good condition, but look at, I mean, definitely the PEs are better than these. But we're not here to talk about these right now. What we're here for is this beautiful sneaker right here. And again, we're about to hop, put these on the turntable, give y'all a closer look, because guess what? I think y'all gonna like it. I think y'all gonna like this review just because of the sneaker right here. So, hi y'all, without further ado, let's hop in front of this uh, turntable. Let's get it. Y'all, uh, here's the Air Jordan 4 black canvas. It is a good looking sneaker, like I said already. Very beautiful sneaker. Here's a quick look. Give it a quick turn around. Give you the uh, 360 view of it. Now I will say that the box is a little different. We know that the uh, fours always have the light on the top like that, but of course the box is not looking like it normally does. And also on the inside, it's got the uh, Zen Master rainbow pastel color looking interior. So something different we don't really care about it. the inside it's just the box right so but let me put the sneakers back on there real quick look see you can tell that canvas material is a little reflective not not 3m reflective but if you put light on it it gives it a little shine back towards you you know what i'm saying got the jump man on the heel tab not it's not an og colorway so no nike air on here and here it is. Let me give you a closer look. Here's that suede I told y'all about. Looking, it was real close to being a crappy grade of uh, suede on there. So, so glad that they decided, I don't know who decided to not go all the way with that towel looking suede that normally they try to run with that sucks. So here's that canvas material around here. Typical Jordan 4 bit sole. Kind of looks like a, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen this colorway of the midsole on anything else. I might have, but just can't recall it right now. So it's the heel tab with the, with the jump man on there. Like I said, man, pretty dope kick. Got your netting in there. Typical of the Jordan 4. You know what I mean? And yeah, typical and so whatnot. So alright. Here's the other one. Quality on these are pretty pretty good. Pretty good, so alright, well, there you have it. This is the Air Jordan 4. Black canvases, good looking sneaker. If you can get a, uh, yourself a, a pair or two, I definitely would suggest it. It's definitely a sneaker you should add to your collection. So, all right, y'all. Well, that's pretty much the uh, look of the sneaker. Let's go ahead and jump back in front of this camera so we could uh, get our final thoughts and go from there. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Well. We just finished looking at the Air Jordan 4 black canvas. Beautiful sneaker. Beautiful sneaker. I think you guys will love the sneaker. For those of y'all out there that, you know, are Jordan, you know, Jordan 4 lovers, this is a definite, a definite, definite add, must add to your collection. So again, Final look at them. Beautiful sneaker. Oh man, can't wait to rock these. Cannot wait to rock these. That was the review of the Black Canvas Air Jordan 4 release that just came out a few weeks ago. Um, go ahead and hit that like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate y'all that I've been watching, have been sharing the videos, been sharing the channel. 
really appreciate it. Again, it's just a hobby of mine, I'm trying to see how it goes, if I can, you know, keep it going or whatnot. So, um, real grateful for y'all that are out there sharing or whatnot. Let's see what other releases and what other videos I can put together. Again, I, you know, I know I mentioned putting a collection video together. I might break it down to just silhouettes at a time, certain silhouettes and everything like that. I still got my backlog here of a whole bunch of sneakers that I have yet to sit there and uh, review them. But of course, they've probably been already released for some time now. I don't care. Again, this is just for my hobby. This is for my enjoyment. And of course, for you guys out there, a more personal slash no sugar coated opinion on what these sneakers are what i think about these sneakers. well that's it for the video again thanks for uh viewing thanks for sharing and uh until next time keep it locked in and holla at your boys